remember they're changing my voice. This video is about what it means to be mature. And I'm going to give you four points. And then after this video, I'm going to take a break for about a week, except for on the 19th. I'm going to make a few videos, which I might not release till the end of that break. So you can focus on the videos that I've made already and weigh in and so on and so forth. Okay. So right now some kind of plane is flying over and that doesn't always happen for whatever reason. So we'll take a little, a few, a few ticks here. You know, because keep in mind there's a bunch of very evil people out there trying to pretend that I'm crazy. And that's an example of being immature. It's very interesting too with the, the arguments, right? When we look at the patients who they claim suffer from schizophrenia, okay, they usually are very coherent when they explain their condition. So either you have a severe case, according to mental health, or you are somewhat medicated and somewhat coherent, or you have a mild case and you're coherent. So the coherence gives away that I'm not mentally ill, and certainly not with the most serious mental illness in the DSM, as one psychiatrist describes it, which is schizophrenia. It is insane, and the essence of insane, to pretend that the most sane person in human history is in fact insane. That is stupid. So point number one, Remember that ver in virtue means man. So one must be willing to die at any given moment for the one true God who is all good, all knowing, and all powerful. That's what it means to be virtuous, to be willing to die for the source of good, the source of true spiritual power, the source of true spiritual knowledge. Now think about it in terms of the parable of the person with five PhDs. There was once a person with five PhDs who served the government, provided money for their bootlicking family. One day they died, the end. What a pitiful life. So again, one must be willing to die at any given moment for the one true God who is all good, all knowing, and all powerful. The failure to do this immediately and unavoidably results in one living a childish and evil life. People often lie about God and the moral order and say things like, quote unquote, you do not even know that is true, like a completely childish coward would. God is spelled in a way that is similar to the word good for a reason. The idea of the source of justice and goodness is God. So I do know that justice and goodness has a source. And even in an alternate reality where there was no God, it is still a much superior life to be willing to sacrifice everybody on the planet if that's what it takes to be righteous and good. Righteousness transcends life itself. Righteousness as a principle transcends life itself. For those of you who don't think that's the case, why do people in the military or in gangs or in the police, intelligence agencies, why are there so many people they think that it's okay to risk their lives for something? Obviously, I don't, do not agree with what they're risking their lives for. Okay? When you narrow it down to what is precisely moral, how could that not be greater than life? Would you live a long life of immorality in a very boring and depraved way? What if you're an idiot and you think that what is boring and depraved to someone with sense is actually worthwhile? People who have sense know that morality, being righteous, is greater than living a long life. Four days on this planet as a righteous person is far, far and infinitely greater than 400 years as a rich coward. To reject this concept is to reject not only righteousness and justice and true love and truth, 
and discipline and all the martial art principles, but one in particular, which is maturity. Second point, the word mature is spelled like your mate for a reason, right? It's an anagram for your mate. One must be honest about not dating bad people, which is all who are outside of the divine order. One must obey God through me and not say stupid things like, oh, isn't that convenient, etc. I am obviously, obviously, the only one who has earned the right to demand complete and total submission in all of Western history. Okay, so my dad didn't insist on submission. And he, his, his crowning achievement was when he impregnated my mother with me and to have impressed upon me with a certain uh, moral consistency. Okay, but he did not reach the degree of divine presence that I have, of divine loyalty to God. We disagreed on things that I was right about and he was wrong about. So if he had demanded that I submit to him completely, he would be wrong. And it had to do with living one's life. I am the, also the top martial artist ever possible and only childish dogs would deny this. It is immature to deny that I'm the top martial artist ever by one's actions and one's speech as well. Three, telling the truth is also a key part of being mature. This is especially true in regards to God. Moral issues, martial arts, romantic justice, romantic worth, and what ill-gotten gains one possesses. The way, the truth, and the life. Four, one must be honest about the fact that mainstream white culture is colonial culture. In its essence, it's neo-colonial, it's colonial. Especially the governing classes cultures with no exception. In a nutshell, it is evil to be in any allowed culture in the world, especially an obviously neo-colonial one. For example, a corporate culture, a church culture, a democratic culture, okay, a libertarian culture, a republican culture, an allowed martial art culture, a sexualized culture, a erotic desire culture, a token minority culture, a thug culture, etc. Right? For example, all the college groups that are commonly defined, thugs, populars, floaters, you know, people float between groups, goths, emos, jocks, Nerds, artists, what have you, they're all evil cultures. And it is immature to be in one of these cultures and their adult counterparts. So I don't like the way I, I, I read this video. They're probably going to twerk the, the way I sound more. But okay, so I'm going to take a week off, so on and so forth. Uh, I suggest you, you know, take a screenshot of the picture on the screen if you can read it. They've been blurring my videos. And also understand why it is insane for somebody to think that I'm schizophrenic or to argue that when they're pointing at, especially when they're pointing at this argument I just made, at this video I just made. They're pointing at these ideas. They're like, if he thinks that he, that, that Christ is superimposed on the top martial arts ever, you know, and the church with their fairy depictions and their, their Santa Claus Easter Bunny version of Christ is wrong and he's right when he's a brain surgeon's son, then he must be crazy. I mean, how fucking insane is that? How sick is that? On top of that, their own book says you know them by their works. Okay, and what are their works? You know, one in four little girls being molested, countless people being raped by church staff, you know? And, they, and they, you can't tell one priest from another in terms of their spirit? Hey, what are their works? You know their spirit by its works. And they're, they're corporate state puppets, a loud church scum. Who could miss that? I did not miss that when I was young. I did not think it was important to go to church when I was young. I knew they were full of shit. I knew they upholded white social norms. I went to private school. It was painfully obvious to me. I went to boarding school and reform school. I knew damn well 
that they were nothing, they were no better than the boarding school trash teachers, no better than the private school filth. They were no better than corrupt cops. I knew, it, it's uniformity. You see, that's that nasty spirit of white supremacy, that oppressive spirit, that, that racist spirit, that, in, that unfair spirit, that unjust spirit, that wicked spirit, that spirit that seeks to superimpose itself on God. You couldn't miss it if you tried. And those dogs in their theater arts, their theater of war, they're putting on an act, their human rules, customs, and traditions, their illusion, their artisans, and art is illusion. Their fakeness, their superficial nature, their artificial way about them. They have the nerve to say that I'm out of touch with reality? You Scooby-Doo motherfuckers? You Flintstones? You Prince Humperdinks? You Simpsons? You Rick and Mortys? You Dexters? You Al Bundys? You, you Freddy Kruegers and Jason Voorhees? You Jeepers Creepers? You cultural appropriation, out of touch, clicking your heels? You Freemasons with your rituals and disassociations? You trance-like people? You groupies? You lemmings? You neo-Nazis? You Zionists? You feminist groupies? You democratic, run-of-the-mill, dime-a-dozen, boot-licking, out-of-touch, unfocused fools. You who, when you put your heads together, after all these years, couldn't even find a single person to beat me at sparring because my brain function is superior. Outdoor sparring that truly shows brain function, wisdom, and superior cultivation, superior life essence in life form. You couldn't do it. Because I am superior. And you're going into the earth instead of out because you're in inferior. Thank you. 